We all know that EV is blazing fast compared to cycles, but when it comes to rendering animations, shaving even a few seconds per frame can quickly add up. In this video, I'm going to show you how I reduce the render times of this EV animation from almost 3 hours to about 20 minutes. For our baseline test, I'm going to enable ambient occlusion, bloom and screen space reflections. If we give that a render, it takes 21.5 seconds per frame, which means it would take almost three weeks to produce an hour of footage at 24 frames per second. Not good enough. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the screen space reflections menu. We'll turn off refraction and we'll turn on half resolution trace. That one change alone makes basically no difference to the quality of the final image while shaving about 3.2 seconds of our render time. So far so good. Next up, we'll adjust the sample count. Just like Cycles, Eevee uses light sampling to render images. For still images, you'll usually want to leave this on the default settings, but for animations we can afford to use a few less samples in order to increase the render speed. Let's start by turning the sample count all the way down to 1. As you can see, one sample gives us blazing fast render times and surprisingly ok quality at a distance, but it doesn't hold up as well if we zoom in. Let's try upping the samples to about 10 and re-rendering. Now the render time increases to 6.56 seconds, but the noisiness has decreased dramatically. Finally, I'll try about 20 samples. That render took 8.8 .8 seconds and the quality has improved even more. I'm happy with 20 samples. Before we try half res traces and 20 samples, let's run one last test. I've been rendering these frames at a fairly high resolution of 2400 by 1350. Let's open up the output properties panel and reduce the resolution to 75%. Then I'll upscale the render again later in compositing. As you can see, just that one small change has reduced render times by about 11 seconds compared to baseline settings. And the slight loss of detail is barely noticeable. Okay, now let's combine all of those techniques. I'll turn on half res traces, reduce the render size to 75% and use 20 samples. That gives us a final render time of 3.48 seconds. We've saved 18.02 seconds on every single frame of this animation. And if we compare to our baseline settings, you can see there's hardly any difference in quality. Here's one final trick. If you have slow viewport performance in Eevee, or you're rendering a scene with very memory intensive models, Open up the EV settings panel and hit the little simplify tick box. You'll gain a slight extra boost in performance. So that's how to shave a huge amount of time of your next EV animation. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Decoded.